In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a peak detector circuit, and I'll apply it to the clapper circuit I made in an earlier video. There are many ways to build a peak detector, but I find this version to be the simplest. Now you're probably wondering, what is a peak detector? What does this circuit do? Well, let's say on the input you have a varying AC voltage. If you feed that into a peak detector, on the output you'll get a DC voltage that stays at the peak of the AC value. It works because the diode only allows current to flow forwards, then the capacitor gets charged, and since the capacitor has no path to discharge, it stays charged at the peak voltage. This can be useful if your input signal is changing so fast that you can't even process it, and all you really want is to get a reading of the maximum voltage it reaches. The graphs I've shown here are just the ideal peak detecting behavior, but you should be aware that because diodes have a small forward voltage drop, the real-world peak voltage will be about half a volt less than the input's peak. Also, since capacitors aren't perfect either, the capacitors will slowly self-discharge over a period of time, usually a few seconds to several minutes, depending on the size of the capacitor. Alright, now I want to show you how to build a practical peak detector where you can have control over how long the peak is held for. It's really simple. Just add a resistor in parallel with the capacitor. Now there's a way for the capacitor to slowly discharge over time. And you could use pretty much any diode you want. I used a 1N4007. Here's the formula for calculating the approximate time to discharge the capacitor. The higher the capacitance value, the more energy is stored, so it'll take longer to discharge the capacitor. And of course, the higher the resistance value, the slower the capacitor will discharge. I'm going to make a peak detector with a 10 microfarad capacitor and a 100K resistor, so it'll take roughly 5 seconds to fully discharge. Now let's look at it on the oscilloscope. The red trace is the input signal, which is a 1 kHz triangle wave. The yellow signal is the output of my peak detector. You can see that it's maintaining the peak value over time perfectly, minus the small diode voltage drop. At a much lower frequency of 10 Hz, you can see that it still sorta holds the peaks, but it discharges by about half a volt over 100 milliseconds. I could fix that problem by adding more capacitance. Alright, now let's see what a peak detector can do for my clapper circuit. If you remember, the LED only stayed on while there was a loud sound it would instantly turn off when it was quiet. For the clapper circuit to be practical, you'd want a single clap to activate the circuit for several seconds or several minutes. Here's the original circuit diagram again, with the amplifier on the left and the comparator on the right. Now I'm going to add my peak detector circuit right in the middle, so it holds onto the peak audio levels for a couple of seconds. And here's the result. Again, if you want the effect to last longer, just increase the resistor and capacitor values. Thank you for watching and enjoy playing with peak detectors.